In recent weeks, Crimea has become a military training ground. The Ukrainian army began to act to liberate the peninsula from Russian military facilities. They aim exclusively at military targets. Ammunition depots explode there and airfields with aircraft burn. The Russian authorities can no longer guarantee the safety of the people living there. Every day something explodes on the Crimean Peninsula. Russia's air defense is operating at full capacity, but is not doing well. Recently, the Ukrainians launched a drone that hit the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet, and smoke came from the roof of the building. The Russian army cannot even protect itself, let alone civilians. Moreover, they frightened peaceful people. Look at this video footage. Russian military aircraft fly right over people relaxing on the beach. This can cause panic for many peaceful people. It does not add comfort to the rest. And here a Russian warship launches missiles almost near the beach. It is very dangerous. After all, a rocket can change its trajectory and hit civilians. This often happens with Russian missiles. Here, for example, is the launch of Iskander missiles from the Russian city of Belgorod. The rocket was supposed to fly to the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv, but suddenly it changed its trajectory and probably fell on the house of one of the Russians. At night in Crimea, residents increasingly see the work of the air defense. Tracers fly over the heads of civilians and produce loud explosions. All this causes panic. People can no longer sleep peacefully. A saddened blogger from Crimea is already publicly criticizing the Russian government for this. She asks, why do we need Russia if it cannot provide us with security? Everything is on edge here. And Putin is really afraid of popular discontent in Crimea. But he cannot oppose anything against the Ukrainian army. There is not a single type of weapon that Russia has not used in Ukraine, except for a nuclear bomb. You can't scare Ukraine with anything anymore. In half a year, they have already experienced all the horrors of the war. But for people living under the control of Russia, this is new. Many leave Crimea, even selling their property. Meanwhile, everyone is waiting for the Ukrainian troops to strike at the Crimean bridge. Many experts estimate that the Crimean bridge destruction will seriously blow the entire Russian society. It will be a shift in consciousness. This would mean that Russia cannot defend itself, and this will undermine the authority of Putin. But destroying the Crimean bridge is not as easy as it might seem at first glance. Ukraine will have to launch a lot of Atakams missiles, which they do not have yet. Probably the Ukrainians are looking for alternative ways, and perhaps they are already developing their own rocket. In any case, the Ukrainian authorities have officially declared the Crimean bridge as their target, which means it will be destroyed. Meanwhile, inflatable S-400 systems were spotted in Crimea. They were created by the Russian army to divert enemy fire. From satellite images, it is almost impossible to distinguish the real S-400 complex from the fake one. But the Ukrainians use American HARM missiles, which fly to the radiation of the anti-aircraft system. Inflatable S-400s don't emit radio waves, so it won't help the Russians.